Father in heaven, today we praise you. We praise you because you are God. We believe in you. We believe that you exist and that you're real and that you hear us when we call on you. We believe that when we pray, when we petition, when we come to you, that things change. We want to change the world, a world where so many billions of people don't know of your love, don't know of your son, Jesus, the one who saves. Father, today we come before you very specifically petitioning you, the king, that you would stretch out your hand and bring your kingdom into Georgia. Lord, a nation that is needing you, a nation that's been oppressed with political upheaval and communism and ethnic strife and a nation with people in camps that have been displaced because of conflict, a nation with a church that while some know you, many don't, many just being religious, being nationalistic, being good Orthodox Christians, but not being people that know you, the living God, who love you, who would give their lives for you. We're praying for churches, many different kinds of churches, denominations, but oftentimes not working together, not in unity. You yourself prayed in John 17 that there would be unity among your people so that the world would know. Father, we know that money is scarce even for ministries, but you are the provider. I pray for creativity that you would help people see they don't need money, they need you and they need each other. Help people to gather together, wherever that may be, to worship you, to learn about you, to live for you. Give us something real, something from heaven. No more grayness, Lord, color and light and life in Georgia. And oh God, we do pray for the young people who are just staggering away, staggering through life, wandering around, needing you, needing a purpose. Father, raise up a generation of young people that bring energy, passion, hope, life, momentum to the advance of your kingdom. Father, you alone are the only one that we look to. We know it's not by power or might. It's not by plans. It's not by anything we could do, but it's by your spirit. So may the spirit of the living God blow freely. May God arise, his enemies be scattered. And may the kingdoms of this world become the kingdom of our Lord and Christ. And it is in his name, the name of Jesus Christ, that we pray. Amen.